normal white-based horticulture lighting has a blue spectral peak around 450 nanometers, which is a common trait originated from LEDs for general lighting. However, plants are different from humans. Light spectrum created for human vision may not be an optimum solution for plants. We have been investigating which particular spectral shape of LED light achieves the highest photosynthetic efficiency. As a result of our endeavor, we were able to find a new path to the truly plant-centric LED lighting. We engineered the blue spectrum to peak around 437 nanometers, rather than around the normal 450 nanometers, to improve internal quantum efficiency at the shorter wavelength and to boost the photosynthetic photon efficacy, PPE, and conducted an experiment to examine how much better the plants grow. The experiment was a comparative study that we ran in partnership with Kyungsung National University from South Korea. We cultivated two types of lettuce under various spectrums of LED lighting in a controlled environment over a course of six weeks. There were a total of four different types of light sources, including a narrow spectrum, red and blue for the control group, a normal white-based full spectrum, and two plant-centric full spectrums incorporating the 437 nanometer-based white LEDs. All other cultivation conditions, like temperature, humidity, water, and nutrition supply were controlled in the same way. At a uniform PPFD set for each type of lighting, we observed the plant growth and measured the power consumption for the grow light. We also investigated the active ingredient contents of the crops and monitored the microbial growth on the harvested crops stored in a refrigerator. The results would confirm the concrete benefits of 437 nanometer-based full-spectrum horticulture lighting in perspectives of crop growth, quality, and shelf life. Crops grown under 437 nanometer-based full-spectrum lighting produced more biomass, with the leaf area larger than the crops grown under the narrow red and blue or the normal full-spectrum lights. Additionally, those contained more flavanols and exhibited lower microbial count after harvest and throughout the two-week monitoring period, which suggest improved storability. On top of this, the 437 nanometer base light demonstrated a significantly higher energy use efficiency. These LEDs consumed less power than the narrow red and blue light while growing even larger and heavier crops. We all know that sustainability will be the key word for green farming. Less land, less water, less pesticide, less energy for secure food production. Samsung's plant-centric spectrum will be an unrivaled horticulture lighting solutions, promoting quantitative and qualitative plant growth for the future of agriculture.